Hello everyone and welcome back to Dungeon Siege Legends of Arana and crossing this bridge. So, being the MacGuffin hero instead of farmer. I still prefer the farmer story because it's like, you're just a farmer. <laughs> and then you become the hero of air. So it's more of a, you're not a destined MacGuffin. Well, I guess technically in a way you are, but you don't have like this characters that will, you know, oh, well, you're just an inherited MacGuffin. Like, well, the pounds of heroes, guess we have to be the hero too. I guess it's better than being a ball spawn and being, you know, destined to cause entire chaos across the entire world. Mind you, I should get back to Baldur's Gate 2. I uh, promise we have two playthroughs for that, don't we? And then there's Baldur's Gate 3, which... I think Baldur's Gate 3 survived the whole issue with the saves. So there's that, at least. But yeah, quite a few of got wiped because of that, and I'm still not happy about that. Yay, yeah, all the stats. But mostly strength. So yeah, I was a Discord noises. Going the right way? I don't know. Um, what are we going to do with? We're probably going to be like, hey, I'm going to let me join you. Thanks for the bow. You totally let me join you. But you are not who I have intended for my party. I have only one character intended for my party. But I do need to learn this boat here. Hi, what are you having the box? Oh god, big old. Big old. Green spooters. Oh no, not the green spooters. They're green and spooters. Stand Hi. back! If you be with the evil of this place, you will soon lie dead at my feet! And oh, I'm sorry. Archies. I mistook you for one of those foul creatures. I am Lissa, an adventurer, <laughs> and I was on my way to Arhok to visit my brother and his family. While making my way through the woods, I saw a dark skeletal figure scrambling through the brush, clutching something in its claw-like hands. I followed it to the mouth of this cave, only to be set upon by spiders and undead creatures. So you mistook me for a spider, somehow. The walking corpse is slavered about serving the Lost Queen, whom I can only assume is the monster behind their twisted resurrection. Apparently, Lothos Queen has nested and is spawning vile offspring. Oh, she no. may be easier to destroy if the dark spawning can be stopped. If you need help in clearing this cave of the creatures and the monster which spawned them, or following the dark creature that preceded them, I offer you my bow. I mean, tempting, tempting, don't get me wrong, but not Suit my yourself, hero. though if you need me later on, this is where I'll be. Tempting, also by the way. Does that mean I gave you the bow? Um. So, you need a hand after all, eh? Not a problem. I've been itching for Suit yourself. Apparently I need to actually take him to my party to deliver the bow. 
Well, there you go. Have fun with that. So, yes, there's only a few things left as we go into the halls of the lost. Oh no, not the halls of the lost, it's full of lost. Just checking things. Okay, and then, the, by the way, Arachnophobia 1. That might be an entire Arachnophobia 1 for the entire freaking game. There's that shit's fine. And then that was Makos. And then that was Alpha Horrors. I Spives, Mr. Spives, all sorts of freaking bullshit. Oh, so I'm dead. Bones. <laughs> sure, that's what we're going with. Hmm, we are actually taking some damage now. Now is where we start to regret it, not bringing other people. But here's the thing, so long as we watch our HP, we'll be fine. And if we keep leveling up, we'll be fine too. Because <coughs> every time we level up, we get full health back. So it's yeah, that. Just keep murdering things. Tends to work decently in our favor. Which means technically we could cheese that and go like zapping things all of a sudden just to get a quick level to heal ourselves technically. Doing decent for you know, us rejecting our first two companions. Like, we could have had two companions by now. Which, technically, by this point in Kingdom of Ebb, we still wouldn't have had our first companion. Like, our first companion was basically at the end of the first real dungeon. Basically, like, you're going to the end of this area. Oh, we could have had two companions by now. But no, no, no. There's a specific companion I want. I think. Because, yeah, this whole two-man thing. Land. Oh, it's going to be a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the Kingdom of Ab campaign was just, okay, we need to keep mana going to the healer because we're dying a lot. Alright, beholders. And the entire party's being <laughs> damaged. Yeah, it's not a ooh, Kusa down there. Not spooky at all down there.
Spooders. Spooders. I do like how basically that's their intelligence or are all going to keep leveling up at basically the same pace. Strange though is going to keep outwinding on them both, but that's intelligence are just going to keep going up at the same rate, which is nice. So long as we stay on melee. this now, can't we? Our intelligence is up to 12. So now we can wear a stick. Because to be fair, I like this. I like the staff's attack animations. I mean, we just flare the thing like that. Makuza! Makuza! people. They like tight ones. Anyway, those ones. They just get it all out in one dungeon. Tally weapon staff is basically the same as what we have, it's not better. So we want we want to go deeper into this horrible horrible place. Obviously. No, I don't really want to go deeper into this horrible place. But no, we'll go deeper. Fire spray. Cool, cool fire spray. I like I'm using magic this way too, but thanks anyway. I do still like the concept. I'm glad. I do still like the concept that basically. In this world, all you really need to do is just keep practicing the, you know, spells and stuff, and you just, and you become a dim prophet. 
It's a really a world where basically anyone can technically master anything if they really put their mind to it. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah, it's not like anyone's just destined to be what they start out of. From Star Wars World of Star Wars. So I'm not entirely happy with them changing leadership. Oh, it's a pocket. Damn, I can't wait with that. Yeah, I'm not entirely a fan of that Star Wars puppet no longer owned by Bioware. Owned by Broadsword now? By the way, uh. To pay for update, game update 7.4 stuff. Meh. Doesn't really seem worth my time. Oh well. I do like the change back when they, what was it, when they made so basically, okay, say you like your Jedi, but you basically did all the Sith stuff. Well, now you can basically be like, you know, a Jedi Sorcerer, or a Jedi Warrior, or basically you could have your Sith classes on your Jedi, and vice versa, and like, say you could be like, Say, instead of like a trooper commando, you could be basically a trooper mercenary, bounty hunter stuff, all that. So basically you just select your story, but then you could basically be whatever class you really want to be. Though, restrictions of course between, you know, certain things like melee class, well, not so much melee classes, but Jedi Sith classes and non-Jedi Sith classes. Still, I like the concept. I thought I was going to do a playthrough of that. But for some reason I dropped it. I don't know why. I think it's because we were finishing up on our Sith Warrior thing and then I got tired of the game again. Because... <laughs> yeah. Still not exactly a fan of some of the directions, basically after the whole 1 through 50. Because 1 through 50 was fine. I liked 1 through 50. Everything after that sort of been hit or miss. Like the whole hut cartel thing, meh, didn't really do anything for me. The world felt tedious. The whole Revan thing? Well, they ruined Revan. Like, Graven was great. They ruined Graven. And then the whole Knights of the Fallen Empire, you know. Welcome to basically. Daddy issues. The expansion. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up. Oh, sorry, have I gone an entire circle? Yes, we're supposed to be going this way. Pass the pumpkin. Yeah, the only problem though is nowadays it's definitely, yeah, definitely starting to show the old style of MMORPGs. Like how World of Warcraft is. I mean, World of Warcraft tries its best to stay alive, but let's face it. It's, it's reached that point where it's a date. I mean, how it's gonna be, what, 20 years old today? 20 years old this year. And that means Guild Wars 1 is also gonna be 20. That's you. But I'm definitely gonna show up for that. Cause, you know, Guild Wars 1. Uh, am I going down? 
Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Stuff. Page is gone. Starting. Okay. Starting to find plants. Common rat. Minor complications. Feelings. Important after implications. Project. So. Amphibians before and after. So here's the thing. This could be a reference to the uh, the Hersat? The Hersat? The cat thing. This could be a reference to the Zorusk. And then, yeah, we study this stuff and it's like, oh, and then we get into Mercosas. Mercosas. I believe there is pet. I think there is a piece of the armor in here somewhere. Fuck if I remember well. That was in. It's probably down deeper, if anything. I'll take the rage, why not? Add to the list of stuff I'm not gonna use, but sure, I'll take it. And there might be a thing here somewhere. I can't. I could be wrong. Don't quote me, I could be wrong. Problem is I can't really remember exactly where everything is, either. Now I'm just gonna go deeper. I mean, if I miss a set piece, oh well. It's not like it's gonna be that relevant when we can easily replace our bot and stuff anyway. Hey, that's right, I didn't check town stock right before I left. I sense, I feel a presence. There are those who dare to enter my sanctum, then enter fools. For you will not leave. Were you the seal from Guild Wars 1? That voice sounds familiar. <laughs> it's like, that sounds sort of like the seal from Guild Wars 1. Huh. Oh, now it's a skeleton. It's no longer bones. The problem with those doors is probably don't really go anywhere. But side room for who more of an enemy. Which ends are enough in the game. It's fine for that. XP and all that. Loot. Loot that probably doesn't really help. But sure, why not? What's behind this? As I like, where's progress in this many rooms? Wait, is that a thing? No. It just looks like it should be a thing. How about this door? It's more shitty rooms. Let's check these. Boots? Star level boots are not as good as border level boots, though. That's the problem. I mean, we sort of want to keep some of this stuff, just cause reasons, but eh. Well, no, it's okay. So we cleared that search, and there was a potential path that way. But what's this way? Multiple paths. Might as well them all. Oh. Wait. Now that does not make sense. 
I thought pickers were the mechanical ones that the goblins set up. Why are they here? Well, maybe this book will explain. Trees will be detailed in this representation of the creatures we have. He most likely to benefit from the procedures and the world are most likely to survive the process. This family should be formed with a deal primer with the uh, petrary glands in the sections of the vein. The Kelvin grow with learning and speech to that end. We so saw we'll be hoping a new and old version of the native lizard and wildcat population. So basically the Hassad and the Zarisk. If all goes as better, these newly involved creatures will make for much scientific study and chief source of labor. Of course, why not enslave them? To answer the concerns of those people who have expressed doubt or question this. Just said these experiments we reply that the benefits of what these members can achieve for outweigh the uh, minuscule problems that may arise. Sure. I'm going to refer back to Mass Effect, because Mass Effect is still one of the best examples. Now here's the thing about Mass Effect. When the Quarians made the Geth, the Geth, they eventually feared that, oh, once the Geth started questioning things, that, oh, they're going to uh, rise up against us because, you know, sentient creatures start realizing that, hey, slavery's bad. We don't, we don't need to put up with this. The problem, though, is the Geth didn't actually do that. No, the Quarians attacked and murdered the Gaff, and then the Gaff just tried to defend themselves. The only problem though was that escalated the Gaff just purged and practically everything that entered it, their old space to defend themselves. But then they escalated, and yeah, it's, it's complicated. But my point is, yeah, we basically decide, hey, we're going to, you know, make our own slave labor source, and... Ah, uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're not going to question it, right? Yeah, about that. I don't know, training people has grown to the point where each man, woman, and child has surpassed the other living creature on the planet, physically and mentally. Though training people lack a challenge by studying and subjugating the lower life forms. Do these evolutionary modifications we can determine how best to challenge the minds and bodies of our people? These experiments are necessary for our own evolution, for they would teach us which challenges will best serve our needs. So, basically, I'll Altrarian Nazi science. Gotcha. I was gonna say, this sounds a lot like some of the Wolfenstein stuff. Yes, yes, very much so. Altrarian Nazi science. Pretty much sums it up. Well, we're just gonna take this lesser, you know, take these cat species. Take this bell to make them intelligent enough to be, you know, obey us and do things for us. It'd be a great idea. Oh, what's that? They're uprising. Oh, wait. They're actually winning against us. We didn't plan for this. Now, it turns out you should, probably shouldn't, you know. Unless you have a proper way to control a species, you probably shouldn't mess with things that you don't really know what you're dealing with. Well, this looks like a way forward, or way down, anyway. So what's this way? Ah, now we end up with the twisted ones, which have two heads. Cause you know, why not make them worse? <laughs> Cause that seems like the best decision. We decided to make the Mercurial worse by adding two heads. Ah, to double everything. They have four arms instead of two. You know, they're very smart if they have 10. Oh, so this looks like progress. Oh, shit. 
If this is progress, then I guess we want to go into the water down well, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember which one of the complaints I had, like some areas just entirely too, take entirely too long. Oh, this is mad. But like some of the transition areas are just <sighs> they're just a bit tedious like going from point A to point B and then it takes forever and that's not bad the problem though is intelligence based oof intelligence based and for some reason I can't open load ones yeah I could earlier Oh well. Like yeah, just some of the times when it's like, okay, we're just trying to go from this dungeon to the next one. But then it's like entirely long session just walking through a forest. And being attacked by literally everything every five steps. And every five steps it's like, oh well, we're gonna go go deal with this aggro over here. There was a lot more lore in this compared to um, the Rager game. A lot more lore, a lot more reading books. Uh, let's see. Uh, I imagine we need to start a new project. I do understand the details. I still have so much to learn. But Horan says we'll help us with the current spider problem. Researchers, not yours. I have no idea who the woman is or what she may have done. She is the broken look of the proud who have fallen. We have. Uh, I'm going to show you to stay close and neither speak to her nor look at her. Fine by me, the whole thing is unsettling. Oh, Olaf is going on and says after the argument today, he decided to leave it. It just strikes me odd as the Olaf oh, would depart without saying goodbye to him, not just me. And leave all his possession behind, he must have been really upset. Oh, we're going to let the walls echo through a pound. I don't know whether it was a project or someone. Someone or something be fed to it, I don't know. It's not a sound person should ever hear. This is not science, it's madness. Screaming was too much for me today, I'm leaving in the morning. I'm worried that perhaps holding in. No one's implying to leave, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been in prison and fed with that horrid thing growing in the pit. Oh, great. You know, evil, twisted, old Trarian Nazi science. No, 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 no. We don't want to go that way yet. We want to go back and into the upper area. Right, right. That way. Explorations and all that. Cause what's downhill? Oh, let's just. Well, let's go. You, you're supposed to be. No, not. You had no worries. You're supposed to be more threat, but you won't. Apparently this here is just loot room. Does that have a set piece? No. Not that great. I think I probably missed a set piece somewhere. I'm not sure. Free clockwork mace. Probably clockwork mace is it's one handed. I mean it's not bad, but it's one handed. Classic lever. They both have my edge gone, but that's that's cute. Some a giant rat. Fun, fun. My inventory's getting a bit too full. Well, we do have a backpack with stuff. Or space to make up and armor. That's not very that relevant anymore. Okay, now we go the right way. I feel like I missed a piece of the armor already. I can't remember where it is. Ooh, an amulet. Trade of mana. Not the best thing for me. Doesn't really help me that. Come much. closer, my lovelies. Come closer. But it depends where closer it is. 
put under consideration, okay? But you sort of have to explain to me where closer it is. trap but it's not like the trap where we actually hurt that much so it's like oh no I got exploded oh well yeah revive yeah I put revive in the book this revive's not bad to have I'm not sure how I ever get the magic for it, but still, it's not bad to have. Okay, I think we go on to the other side and continue on. Oh no, it's a boss like my hands <laughs> Didn't even really drop anything. Get you a cheeseburger. Will that do? Maybe. Actually, I'm not sure if I can or not. Counter for rush, rush, rush. Oh, I can open these ones. Hi. So, let's see. Surprisingly, this appears to be a copy of a criminal file on a woman. If I don't use a rush. For what you can deduce, she was a fan warrior queen captured and arrested for treason and other crimes against the old trading government. Time was so never discussed in any detail. Small trial summary notes that she was unrepentant, maintained her innocence, the claims of the conspiracy work against her and her people. Fire Sword she was in prison for a few days before being transferred to the care of Master Homer and various memoirs. Uh, Okay, this was unusual to events was uh, objected to by several notable public figures. No traversing over long since large, no portraits carried in the... During the margins, they indicate the woman actually more sense to provide painful and torturous balance to result, which was her transformation into something horrendous and almost uncontrollable, but only though trains great magic ravagers. So basically, it sounds like they made her into the voice we're having. You know, let's turn. Oh, yeah, let's. It's Velma to turn her into a big old spider. But, but why? It's the best decision. Hi. I mean, I'll take a ring. My problem, though, is. Those five arrow car things. This one's not bad because it's just a ring. Adds uh, add to armor. Wait, no, it adds just a tender mana. If I had two of them, it would add to armor. Still, that's not bad. Now, for fuck's sake, more cloth. More magical stuff. Studded lever. I'll just start a lever. 19. Eh, yeah, that's actually better than torn lever. Oh, is my inventory full now? Unfortunate. Oh, I think I can still put stuff in. Shit. That one. Ah, if that was only a bit higher in stats. Maybe. Hmm, so our snake bite's not bad. Should 
be able to fit that. No, because it takes a four. Eh, it's not that great. That's the only take the ring. Not bad. Not really helping me, but it's not bad. Yeah, the other picklers were those. Yeah, they do look like they have some mechanical parts of them. But those were the ones the goblins made. My lord, the Shadow Jumper woke me from my long slumber and told me humans would follow him. And I have hungered ever since. Come to your doom. Well, I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll think about, you know, decisions and all that. Now well, there's a dead wherever that is. Apparently we need more lore. Cause you know lore. Appears to be logos for everyone's connection in this area. Appears as though that's very much fair. The thing appears to have been to a whale and be used in an effort to intercept of the Tsar Rusk. Blame myself for the tragedy for Asher that was the Queen of Suppressed Beauty and No Beauty and a different season my uh when her fortune to the order of the war of the Tsars and the so-called king. I find that humorous knowing as I do what stock that king sprang from. Perhaps that is why they attack us so viciously, for we are not seen as parents to them, but as fallen gods they cannot worship us, nor can they look to us for knowledge or comfort, and therefore we have become their enemy. I hear her screaming still, fighting off the magical energies of power we channel through her. Perhaps that is the secret we should have been looking forward to, or harness the spirit of a creature rather than its genetic structure. It's funny we find a way, but, not, but for now, it's made with a great galloping or some other dark, sticky substance. You know, maybe we were wrong to perform, you know, Zorius, uh, Altaria Nazi signs. Maybe we were wrong to do that. Just, just saying. Getting out smokoses. Oh, well, we should probably do something about that. Oh, apparently my dexterity is bypassed my intelligence. Hi. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I can't let you. 
Okay. Oh, you didn't even have that much HP. You only had 200 HP. Oh, hey, I can have the stick, though, because my intelligence is up enough. Add one to melee skill. Nice. Nice. Oh, we have. Oh. Secret amulet of the seasons. What we got? Nine to armor, one to melee. Um, yeah. That amulet's just better than everything we have. I'll totally take the amulet. So yeah, like I could go fight that one. But I could also just leave. You know, I could just go leave. In fact, I believe I'm gonna go leave. Continue through the door to this place back to the mayor. So yeah, we got better stick. And we got a nice amulet. And of course, that's one that conveniently goes back to Orhawk, and then that's one that goes to the island wave station. Well, we want to go back to Orhawk. Ah, yes. Yeah. So, bow. Better bow. Eh, she's not that much better. Increases melee damage against undead. Ah. Huh. I mean, it has fast attack speed, though, I suppose. There's that. What else you got? Still, this was better loot than, you know, last time, that's for damn sure. So, Jay Gargoyle. Zara's Clever? Yeah, I thought Zara's Clever was what I thought it was. Which is technically, eh, technically better than these armors in terms of actual defense. Still, decent loot piles. Coral staff. Go on to try five. Go on to try five. Um, not bad. Oh, battle or rock. Yay. I like the concept of a display, so it just shoots you up in the sky, and then you land down where you're supposed to be. Uh, the multiplayer thing has a whole system where it basically sends you up to a hub, then you take the hub to multiple locations. Convenient that. Hi, I did the thing. Well, according to these runes, this displacer was connected to the Lost Isle of the Utraeans and was used to transport goods between Arhawk and the Utraean Empire. What a time that must have been, eh? Eh? Eh, we'll look into it, but first I need to go... I need to go sell shit and stuff. You sure did show those beasts a thing or two. Yes, I sure did. Sounds like I'm a hero of legend or some shit. Hi, I did that. There's all types of adventure, you know. Some closer to home than you think. Or dry raising kids or animals. Now that's an adventure. Please take a look at my goods, Brap. <laughs> it's like, uh, are you done with that? Oh, please take a look at my goods. So, yeah, I don't really need any of these. Okay, I want the range down to it. I want this crappy bow. The boots? Eh, maybe. Oh, you don't really have better armor, do you? No. You don't really have better armor. You don't even really have better gloves. Sally, he's just sort of stuck. 
with his gale. It's unfortunate. Oh well. Moving on. Hi, Mayor, I did the thing. You must find the one who took the Staff of Stars. If the Staff is not recovered, terrible things will befall all of Arana. Use the Displacers and the Lost Queen's Lair to pursue the vile creature who took the Staff. Okay. So go back to the thing. We were just at. But now we must go to the island to follow the Shadow Jumper. Which, to be fair, I was like, we could probably end the video here, but... Uh, I forget how far in it is. Might be time to get on our next par our party member. Might be time to get a party member. We shall see. Oh shit, I forgot to sell. Well, oh, I forgot to sell this stuff. Oh well. Oh well. So now that we go to the island. It's there an hour. Ten o'clock on a beach. Somewhere. Technically, also trying to drag. Ooh, a woolly cap. Bowers not there, not that great. Over boots now, I'm gonna do his odd boots. Well, we do have boiled leather boots. More rest. Gloves. Well, actually, here's the thing I don't have a spare set of love for gloves on me. How to make sure I have a spare set of love for gloves? Welcome to Chapter 2 The Island of Legend. Huzzah! Greetings, small one. You're not from the island, are you? My name is Naj, and I am of the Aramar, the children of the mountain. My people came to this island long ago. You seek a dark, skeletal creature? Indeed. Such a creature passed by here not more than a few hours ago. If you would take me along, I could show you to Ilacor, the city of wizards. The Utraeans may know more of this creature. And then, perhaps, you will aid me with a task as well. I have traveled much and had decided to return to my people with the bounty of my adventures. Last night, 
My ship was overtaken by an unseasonably violent storm and was wrecked. Now I am lost, as is all my gold. In your search for this dark creature, could you help me find my way to my people? I would be most grateful. So here's the thing. He's of course have to be me, like. Which makes sense. But... Most excellent news. Soon I will be among my people. Let us be on our way. He's set up to be me. But what if he wasn't? Oh, see, he has... Just a... Eh, decent ass, actually. Decent fucking ass. But anyway... By that definition, he probably should have this. He could do these kind of a stack, but it's gonna make him into an archer. Why? Because we can. Because we will. Oh, well, I was going to, but apparently I can't do it. Doesn't have a good bow. Shit. Well, here's a crappy bow. Could be melee. Could totally go melee. But you go to go range. Totally go range. Which is how I can fit. Yes. We also have a giant ass behind his kins. So now he has a buddy. Buddy. The enemy is near. Huh. Now we have the notch. Hard to the thing soon, but yeah. Well, there is a guy we need help for. Notch. Notch So I don't get all the In fact, I'm gonna hold fire for a while. And, uh, and We're not welcome here. At least he has a boy to defend. To battle! Look at him go. He's totally making it up. Oh god. So it's gonna take him that long to get the bow up. Yay, get that range. All right. Well, remember, we have how much? They're like trying one to melee. Yeah, he's gonna take all the battle. Like how we could ever bomb the match in the meantime for a while, I do. There's a better bow. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, he's dead. If it pleases you. Do you like how he's forced? I shall do it. Prepare to us for a silent protagonist. I can't remember the other character. No, I don't think the other character is in. Oh, well, he's dead now. Cool, cool. That's a lot. That's, um, that's way too many enemies at once. That's good. Stop that, by the way. That's entirely too many enemies at once.
We are not welcome here. Okay. This is an evil place. It's a beach. Of course it's a beach. Oh, yeah, I need to. This is an evil place. I. Damn, they do a lot of damage to them. We shall win the day. So here's the thing. I have like what? 95 armor? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it could definitely be a bit better. In comparison. That was his bow. Eh, 13 deaths. Ready. Behold my strength. Pew. Pew. Much strength. I am not afraid. Pew. Cut rigid. I will try. And I got five. Made half by five. God damn it. I'll keep attacking the bugs. Help. <laughs> to an extent. Oh, that's just the same armor as what he already has. Oh, that's disappointing. I shall guard you well. You. Yeah, the problem is it's going to take a while to catch up. I get my lead yes. over 10 in range? Before we go back to smack and thing. Yes. And I should probably call the bear soon. The only thing that's a fine fight because these guys. I will try. It doesn't hurt that much. Especially when it's just so low. I shall do it. He's gonna do it, everyone. Assuredly. Oh no, little tiny lizards. Please don't die to the You're dying to the I am not afraid. Well, at least he's not afraid. Never fear. Never fear, nauseous here. Oh, you should have her up and came back. There we go. And he's All right. Strive. I shall do it. Never fear. The hell is that? I. Okay, we might want to try. Okay. I am here. Nothing. Oh, we don't have nearly enough healing potions. Like, I'm perfectly fine myself. It's just. Why, of course. Nodge is not perfectly fine. Okay, level her up before he goes down. Oof, not exactly. Not exactly. Right away.
<sighs> well, at least he's almost at 10. I know it says he's at 10, but it's actually. We are idle too long. Yeah, you, you can shoot from there, can't you? There you go. Make use of your rank. Yeah, definitely going to need to. Right away. I'm going to have to do a lot of the fighting. Oh, well, if you fight one of those, you should be fine. You should be fine. Yeah, you should be fine. Follow a good choice. You keep working on that, I'll work on that. Heads down. Okay, let's go. I'll go in. Now that I'm going to do fire. Well, no, I'm moving things a bit too quickly. Keep up. Still. But remember, we have trained you. Me and them. Which means we barely need to tap like. The fates are kind to us so far. Now pick that up. There you go. I am here. He's here. I will. Now he's getting up there slow. Never fear. I long to see my people. Yeah. To battle. <sighs> to battle. That wouldn't be bad, except for that, that, you know. Mine's a lot bad. Onwards! I shall do it. He shall do it. Death awaits them. Oh god, multiple times. I'll let you do it. Hi. I don't know if he needs to catch up to like trying before he's actually gonna be affected. I will try. But yeah. I am not afraid. Or at least better equip. All right. <laughs> it's a bit rough for him to sell Why, of course. I mean, he shouldn't be soloing that. 
It's just, I need him to keep getting attacked. If I attack anything, they'll die too fast. But that's for your gang. Why, of course. Well, that's, um... Well, at least we're not in that sort. I thought we were going to do stuff like that. To battle! Like, oh, well, you're not in that sort, so... Oh, well, that's un unfortunate. They will perish! So, yeah, if I can get him up to at least try, that'd be ideal. I shall do it. Gonna do it. I mean, if we can lure one at a time, that's always fine. Are and you sure that's wise? Then I found those things over there. Those are basically just pours. Sure, they have a fancy name, but they're still basically just pours. I might want to deal with those, at least for I aggro to myself. There we go, I've drawn aggro to myself. And this is actually ideal. Maybe I should just control my coward and have my coward move forward. And then let him shoot the thing because he'll be distracted attacking me. That actually seems like a good idea for us, because it's going to take them a while to work through my defense. like a snappy turtle like sort of face with like more like a cat rash. Fortune range. It's catching up, but yeah. Why, of course. Yeah, maybe it's time. Well, no, I still feel like here he won't catch up if I have to think about it. Definitely not got enough attacks to keep up with me almost one shine things.
The fates are kind to us so far. Getting a lot of ammo this time. Okay, well, I guess next time we head into the. Well, it looks like we just go through a cave. Anyway, we'll deal with that next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day. As the adventures of Carl and Yars continue. Anyway, next time.